Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm outside in my yard today. Here's Bentley. Bentley's here with me. Bentley goes home tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to miss him. And uh, I bought myself, I, I have a pretty big yard, as you can see. I never filmed back here. And I'm thinking about doing, of course I come out now and it looks like it's going to pour any second. Um, I'm thinking about getting a one of those Intex pools like Louise Gardner has. Uh, I had a 15-foot uh, round one at my old house that I used to live in, and I loved it. I went, actually, I went from, like, I had, like, a 10-foot, and then I went to a 12-foot, then I went to a 15-foot, then I went to the big, long one. This yard would actually fit the long one really, really well. Um, this, would, this yard is huge. I don't know if you could see. It's not super wide but it's really long and I could definitely get one of those long ones but instead I got this little one for myself which to be honest with you it's filled with water I put a little chlorine tablet in it and um, I bought like I have a little skimmer well actually I bought my neighbors but I have one in my from my other pool and I am going you know I skim it and it you know I don't have to empty the water every single day like every other day I empty it but I'm really behind on my videos because I've had um, Bentley uh, since last Monday. Uh, it's been seven days today. Tomorrow will be eight days. He goes home tomorrow afternoon. And I really, really haven't had any time. Um, I've been really taking care of him, taking him everywhere. I'm not used to having a dog. I haven't had a dog in about three years. I used to have two Rottweilers and they passed away right before I moved here. And... Um, I'll tell you, it is absolutely um, a lot of work. I never realized comparing to Edward. Because Edward just wants to kiss and play, but then Edward gets tired of you, and he just wants to go in his cage and play. And uh, he eats. I could run out, and he, you know, does all his business in the cage, and then I just clean the cage every day or whatever. But with Bentley, he's been going swimming. He's been going for a walk. He needs a lot of... There he is. See, there's Bentley. Hi, Bentley. So, um, Bentley's my cousin's dog. Um, it's a little business for me, you know, and I mean, I want to do it for her for free because I, she's my cousin. She's like a sister to me, but she won't allow me to do it for free. So, which is going to be great because, you know, it's a couple hundred dollars more that I'll have in my pocket and, um, you know. So anyway, so anyway, I just wanted to show you too my... My lounge chair just blew, but I have my beautiful lilies. They bloom every year this time, and they stay bloomed for about, I don't know if you could see those. I think you can. Um, they stay bloomed for a couple of weeks, and they really look beautiful. So um, I have a chimney over there, and that's where my table was, but it got broken in a storm over the winter this year. So we never replaced it yet because I haven't had anybody over to need a table. Um, but I'm starting to really enjoy the backyard. And uh, so, and then I have my my Tommy Bahama beach umbrella. I put that up because normally I have one here, but I have it in uh, storage. But anyway, I don't want to make this too long. Let me, I'm going to do two separate videos. I'm going to do my birch box first, which I got, and then I'll do my Ipsy. I've had them for a while, and uh, I'm going to do two separate videos, and then I also have to do my planner video, so I'm going to try to get them done out here. So, this is the birch box. I really love this box. I think it's really awesome this time. Different colors, but like I said before, they were always like the same, but I, I am a little disappointed with something with birch boxes. They haven't been giving me any tissue. They just throw the stuff in here, and they haven't given me any tissue or anything in kind of annoying you know but I like the tissue it's like a package but they haven't been doing that so here's the card it says uh hello world let's do this and then it has the stuff on the back I did look to see what I got so because uh, it took so long for me to film this but the first product that I have here is which is nice because I like to get perfume samples this is called a Vanilla Apricot. It's by uh, Sud Pacific. Uh, you know what? Let me take my... Let me put my readers on so I could see. This is called Sud Pacific. And I actually didn't even smell it. Let me smell it. 
I like the sprays, but... It's nice. It's very vanilla. Very vanilla. Um, I know it's not my favorite, but it's, it's nice. It's not bad. Um, I like to, like, do... A lot of times with these boxes, I put the stuff that I'm not thrilled with. And what I do is I throw them. I have a little drawer that I throw everything in. And, um... I, you know, take these little boxes when it's somebody's birthday, like a neighbor or somebody that I'm not going to spend like a lot of money on. And I throw all the little samples and I make them like a birch box up. So they seem to really like that. This I was very happy to get. This is Dr. Brandt Poor Dermization. Uh, the full size is $58. And I cannot actually wait to use this. I love Dr. Brandt products. Um... I really love his products. They're very expensive. Um, this says it cleans, uh, deep cleans pores help smooth this. And I'm telling you, his stuff really, 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 truly does work. Um, the next thing I have here is I got another mascara, which I don't want to open, but this has the curling wand with it, and it's the Marcel. Always love to get mascaras. Never, ever, ever hurt to get a mascara always use a mascara. I just don't know what color it is. It looks like it's brown, but just because the packaging is brown. I hope it's black. It doesn't say. I'm sure it is. I always get black. It says extension plus curl mas mascara. The boundary pushing hyperallergenic hyper mascara grabs and curls even the smallest of lashes for a doe-eyed look, which I love that. Okay, and then this one is the Ren Renee for Terror uh, Hydrating Styling Cream, which I love. I love the creams they send me for hair. Um, this probably has a... Oh no, it doesn't have a thing on it. Oh, that smells really good. All these creams always do. That feels real nice too. And I have to say, I've been wearing... I look so disgusting right now. I'm sorry, my hair is all wet and um, I had was dunking myself in the... You'd think that I was in a, a, a freaking built-in pool or something, but I, I'm just happy with that. Um, and uh, this is the leave-in cream, so that, that's a good one. I'm happy with that. The full size of that is $28. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, this is $14 full size, which isn't bad for a, a name brand product. Now, this is the last thing in here is the MD Solar Sciences. Oh, this is a um, SPF 50 sunscreen, which I'll throw this in my beach bag. The full size is 30. It says safe for acne and rosacea prone skin. Silky SPF cream absorbs quickly so it won't leave a white greasy sheen. So this is good. I'll throw that in my beach bag. So yeah, so I got the solar cream, the hair cream, the Dr. Brandt, the mascara, and the perfume. So not a bad box, Birch Box. And it says, choose one of four free makeup remover deluxe samples when you spend $25. I actually just saw that I have a $20 credit uh, from filling out. I haven't been filling these out. I'm so stupid of me, but I'm going to do it this time. But right now I have a $20 credit with Birchbox to buy something. And um, I'm thinking about getting, um, there's a couple of things on there I want that I would have to add money to. But it's fine. Okay, guys, so uh, I'm going to end this video now. So this was my first box for July of 2016. And uh, I'm doing everything. I'm in the same clothes because I'm in my yard. Um, and uh, I hope you all have a great day. And I'm going to be right back with my Ipsy. Bye-bye.